So you're gonna tell us how short you want your haircut? I want it very short and spiky in front, a little. Very short and spiky in the front. Yeah. So we're just gonna divide the hair. And then decide how short she wants. Very, very short. Is this short enough? Like like short like this? More short. Short a little bit short. like this? Yeah. Okay. More short. Short. So this would be the uh, hairline. And then I have to cut shorter here, right? Yes. This short is like a man's cut. Yeah. Home, make sure there is no hair underneath that escapes. This is for my Egyptian friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Egypt, yeah. Are you from Egypt? No. No. I'm not from Egypt, but I have some friends oh. who have been asking me to do very short haircut. Please do the short haircut. Please do the short haircut. Oh, okay. And, and you yeah. don't have it so far, the volunteer. The model, yeah. The I, model. I couldn't find the model <laughs> to do it. This is your opportunity to do it. Yes. And it's perfect. I will send you the video for my modeling later. Yeah, they are they are in beauty school. Oh, okay. And over there in Egypt. Over there in Egypt. Uh -huh. And they want to learn how to cut short hair. I have a couple of over there friends in Egypt. This, and then I'm going to connect it. So I'm just gonna decide. She wants very short. I cannot go further than this. This is her hairline. I'm just gonna cut over there. And I would connect those two from here to here. So I have this cut and this cut, and then I'm going to connect them. Combine this and that. No, well, I'm not Egyptian, but uh, they are watching my channel. Oh. Really, like the whole school is watching my channel, really? and they're so nice. They gave me time to do this, and I've been very busy. So I want to help them. Is the background. Not Middle Eastern. Oh, okay. Perimeter first. So I cut the perimeter. Then I'm going to decide how short she wants on the top. How short do you want on the top? Maybe 
two, two fingers. fingers. Two fingers, yes. She wants two fingers on the top. Then around will be one finger. Once I start here, so this would be my guideline. Since I know this is like two fingers, I know here is going to be one finger. So I'm just going to use my one finger to cut. So it's so easy with the fingers. You put one finger out from the head, straight out, and then cut. I'm just going to cut straight up. So it's one finger straight out of the head. I could do the same by using my comb, scissor over comb. So let's say this is my guideline. I can use my scissor over comb like this and then just cut it. So I could take my guideline, hold my finger and then cut it. So open me if you you want something very simple, just put your finger on the scalp and cut it. There's no mistake, you're not going to do any mistakes because your finger would not change, her head would not change. So I'm just going to go all around with one finger and then I'm going to cut it. My one finger is touching her scalp. I have a ring there on purpose. I put my ring so I'm not going to go further and cut myself. So I'm just going to do one, one, one finger and cut all around. This is a beginner's haircut. The way the head goes is the way my finger goes. This is my guideline. I follow my guideline, but my finger doesn't change, so it's very easy to just put my finger in there, see my guideline, and then cut. Then here in the back, I can clean the back. This is the ear. I can kind of bring this forward and clean as I'm going. I keep coming around still. With one finger, straight out of the scalp. Use my comb. Here's my guideline. My guideline disappeared. I just gonna put my comb, here's my guideline. I bend my comb and then cut. Very short. Very short too. So now I'm gonna show you with the comb. I use my fingers for, for the comb. I could put my fingers like this, open, 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 and I could use my comb this far. So my fingers are a guard. So one finger, two fingers, three fingers. So I'm just gonna go like this, have my guard over there and cut. Just like that, go up and cut going up. You can use Here's my guide. Here's my guide over there and I'm cutting. I'm connecting this here. There is the guide and this guide here, and then I'm connecting. Okay. That method you have to practice. So if you want to do the same thing with your hands, you can put your fingers and do it. But first I'm going to cut the top, then I'm going to connect the top with the bottom. Two fingers, let me see, and I'm gonna cut. It's as easy as that. Just put your fingers there, 
here's the guideline and cut so just straight out of the head and I'm cutting take my guide you can use your guide but your hands which are on on the head they show you the direction so my hands know where the direction is because it's like completely 90 degree haircut So I'm going all around the crown area and and cutting. I'm following the guideline as well as my fingers. Now if I want to connect those two pieces, here's my old piece, here's my new piece, and then I can connect them. I will cut this front going forward once I'm done with the entire haircut. So I'm going to connect this with the bottom. To connect that together, I'm going to bring my fingers and this time I'm going to match this with this. So I'm matching the top with the bottom. I'm matching the bottom with the top. Here's my old piece and here's my new one, so I'll just connect them. I also take a measurement, usually it's one and a half finger, so it's one finger and a half. And then I'll cut. So I'll take again the top portion and the bottom portion, go to one and a half fingers, here's the guide, and then I'll cut. Again, connecting. This part I have to still do the two fingers because the, this is the back part and then in the bottom, I'll connect in the bottom. Here's my old guideline, here's my new guideline. <laughs> old guideline, new guideline. I just want to repeat for all of the pros over there watching this, it's for students. So that's why it's so detailed and simple. Nothing, nothing hard, just simple. Two fingers, one and a half fingers from the bottom to the top. The triangle goes away. This is my one finger, just straightening it. Here's my top guideline, the bottom guideline, the middle goes away. Two fingers on the side, one and a half fingers. Top and the bottom. Top portion, the bottom portion. Just gonna see if this is too much, we can cut that portion. Mm -hmm. So far we cut this first, then we cut the top, then we connected them together. How short can I cut you in here? Like, like this is good? I think so. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut like that. So this is the front. Her hair bounces if she has a colic over there. Like 
She has a shorter piece here and a little longer piece. I have to connect everything together and see. There is a shorter and the shorter piece that this triangle has to go. And just bring the hair to forward and see if it's anything extra. Let's be cut. Just bring it forward. Bring it forward. Connect this with this. To connect, I'm going to leave very little piece in the front and then bring this up and move this a little away. So I will connect this piece to that piece. But I am ensuring length in the front, that's why I moved away. So I'll check again, take everything, move it away. And then cut. That way she got some layering here, but it's all balanced. She got volume and she wants some spiky, so she will, we're going to make some spiky for her. Make the hair spiky. You could do point cut, and if you want more point cut, you can cut it on an angle. Take the comb and then cut over the comb. Much easier. And cut. To check, I'm just going to bring this up and see if there's anything extra. I'm going to do everything spiky because she got a lot of hair. And this makes sure the hair sits better. Because I cut like this, I have to check like this. That's what I'm doing, I'm checking. This way, you would not cut yourself, you would not cut your client. Here, we can bring the hair towards the ear and then cut on an angle. When I'm cutting, I put this up. I put this up. See, once I see this out, then I cut. So. And this looks a lot for me, so I'll just cut a little bit softer. Like this, or here, you can clean it like that. We're going to use gel on her. We're just going to fly all over. She wants it spiky. So, to make spiky, you just have to go opposite direction of the hair growth. This you want down, forward? Yeah, she just wants this forward. One on the right side, one on the left side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so.